The fallout from Dolce & Gabbana's controversial advertisement is forcing the brand out of China, or possibly so, prompting the company's co-founders to issue a very public apology. Le nostre famiglie ci hanno sempre insegnato a rispettare le varie culture di tutto il mondo e per questo vogliamo chiedervi scusa se abbiamo commesso degli errori nell'interpretare la vostra. Vogliamo anche chiedere scusa a tutti i cinesi nel mondo perché ce ne sono molti e prendiamo molto seriamente questo, questa scusa e questo messaggio. Dolce & Gabbana has also lost support throughout Europe and the United States. British brands and American models have already distanced themselves from the company. Well, Runan Jen is a reporter at Jing Daily, which is a digital publication that focuses on luxury businesses in China. I spoke to her earlier today about the global backlash on Dolce & Gabbana and how the brand is responding to it. Most consumers, unfortunately, they don't buy this apology at all. Uh, and this apology further, you know, reassurance that the, the brand did something wrong and perhaps their account hasn't been hacked and this is something they did. Um, so it's, and the fact that a lot of uh, people are saying, you know, their comments on social media has been deleting, you know, the brand is not handling really well from a PR perspective, really, really uh, is not helping the brand much at this moment. Do you really think, though, that Dolce & Gabbana, this famous Italian brand, could be banned from China altogether? It, it seems extraordinary that it might go that far. What do you say? It's hard to say if this brand will be banned automatically in China. Uh, but I think for the next, I would say for the next few months, even years, the, the brand would have to say how, would have to see how they handle uh, everything. And as we're saying, e-commerce already taking off their goods. So the sales channel potentially are breaking down and are forbidden at this moment. And uh, it, it, it will take a while for consumers to, you know, forgive their brand. Now, the New York Times today says this could hurt Dolce & Gabbana way, way beyond China into other businesses around the world. Again, it seems extraordinary, but what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that that's possible? The brand, um, the founder, as, uh, as well as the designer, they're both huge. Uh, they embrace the, the brand identity, and they stand for the brand, right? And the fact that the founder, uh, the designer, uh, had, you know, alleged um, racist comment online mm. was really uh, was damaging for the branding. And I think, you know, as we're seeing, the designer have spoken uh, before against Japan and as well as Europe. They have controversial uh, racist comment, not just in China. I think China is kind of the tipping point because, you know, people are angry, it's social media, people check social media all the time, okay. and uh, this will have a domino effect on the brands elsewhere.